Greetings. My name is John Tolner and I'm a resident of Lancaster County and a retired hospital dentist. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about understanding more about the coronavirus and what can we do as a community to help protect not only ourselves but our family and others in the community. Unfortunately, we're going through a very difficult time and scientists are learning every day more about this virus and hopefully we'll have a vaccine, but it's going to take some time to develop that. In the meantime, we need to really think about what we do and abide by what our state government, the governor, has recommended for Virginia and also what the experts are recommending. And that's basically, at this point, staying at home and being cautious because Coronavirus, COVID-19, is a very stealth virus. That means we don't really fully understand everything about it by any means, including the scientists, but I think they're getting more of a handle on it every day. The best thing we can do is listen to recommendations from the experts, from the medical experts, to help reduce the risk, again, to all of us in this community. That includes uh, staying home as much as possible, and we're going to go over some other things right now. Obviously, you go out for necessities as needed, but try to minimize your contact with the community. One thing is the biggest single thing probably is hand washing. Hand washing with soap and water is the best way to hand wash. One of the reasons for that is soap breaks down the coating that's around this virus from coronavirus, which has a lipid or a fatty coating. And you know how we use dish soap to get grease off our dishes? Well, the same way, if we use soap and water on our hands and scrub appropriately, you can, uh, the soap that you're using actually helps to, does break down this virus. Secondly, staying at home. I already mentioned that, but staying at home as much as possible until we're told that we can start to reopen the community. The other thing is social distancing, trying to stay anywhere from six to 10 feet away from each other. And this is a change that's very hard to do. Change is not always easy, but it's very important that we don't get close to others. Also, cleaning frequently with either soap and water or disinfectants on frequently touched items in our home. That can include groceries that we're bringing in, it, uh, cell phones are probably one of the dirtier things, as well as uh, hand, door handles and things like that. Make sure you read the directions on disinfectants and cleaners before you use them. Oftentimes, people mistake skin cleansers and things that should be used as antiseptics on our skin for surface disinfectants. And it's a very important thing, as much as it's hard for me to say as a, as a male, to read the directions on what you're using and exercise caution. Proper hand washing. Hand washing for 20 seconds and then singing happy birthday is all fine and dandy, but it's very important, as I already mentioned, to use soap when you wash and use a good technique. And you're going to see in a moment that I have a recommendation of a video, a very short video, that you should watch on hand washing. Having taught this for at least 25 years, both in the hospital system for the Department of Veterans Affairs and the uh, dental school at VCU. I think this hand washing video that I'm going to show you briefly uh, in a moment is probably one of the best videos I've seen. I highly recommend you spend a few minutes to watch it with your family and recommend it to your friends. So, frequently washing hands, covering your mouth when you cough or sneeze. Wipe down any surfaces. We've already uh, mentioned that. But these are all key, very basic precautions that I'd like you to keep in mind. When you have an opportunity, and you can do this when we finish this, is go to YouTube and look up the Vox hand washing video. This picture happens to depict crevices in our hands and things where it's very difficult to get viruses off. And this video shows you the best way of how to, how to properly hand wash. It also shows you how this works on the coronavirus. 
A couple of other references I highly recommend, and I'm going to go in on these a little bit right now so you can see them better, is the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And if you go to coronavirus at cdc.gov, that will give you an outstanding number of references you can go to for many purposes, not just yourself and your family, but about testing, about frequency, and uh, how to find out about a coronavirus in the not only our country, but in the world. And if you go to the Virginia State website on coronaviruses, you can f tune up also on uh, Virginia cases and cases in our area here in Lancaster and Heath, um, Lancaster uh, County, as well as Northumberland County. Again, these references are for you to easily access by simply going on your uh, search engine and go to CDC Coronavirus, and you can see all these different sites. You can pick up on whatever you wish. It talks about common questions that are asked about coronavirus and will help you a tremendous amount as needed. My final thing I'd like to mention is that please exercise caution and be safe. You cannot be too safe for this virus. You can't exercise too much caution. It's a very tricky virus, a stealth virus that you don't know is there. And the best thing you can do is be very cautious and exercise every caution you possibly can. And remember, we are all in this together. This is people helping people in our community. And I hope this was helpful to you today. Please have a, a great time. <laughs> Be good. My pleasure talking to you today.